Hello all Justified fans and fans of U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. Uh, today I'm going to do a video for a bunch of people that have seen photos and postings on um, basically my Justified collection. Uh, today is a, I'm going to answer a lot of questions that I get from a lot of people and my time is kind of limited so I figured I'd just do a video and try to answer everyone's questions all at once. Uh, a lot of the questions I get are, what is Raylan's holster? So I have both the correct holsters that was uh, used in the show, or I said they are not the screen used ones, but they're the ones just like Raylan used. Uh, the holsters are both made for, and this is my uh, everyday carrier, uh, which is a Glock 17, which is a 9mm, and it's a Gen 4. Um, I carry, just so everybody can see, carry hollow points in it just because it's a 9mm and I'm not a big fan of 9mm but since that's what Raylan carried that's kind of what I carry and I'll tell you this thing is like really super light wearing. Um, I usually wear a, a 1911 strapped to my hip every day and when I switched over to this, I, to be real honest with you, I don't even realize I have it on. And it's just crazy. That's the, the weight difference. So I'm actually kind of becoming a fan of the Glock um, just because it's so light. Now let's get up to the holsters. And by the way, this is the same firearm that Raylan Givens carries as a U.S. Marshal. Uh, actually, in the very first scene of Justified in Episode 1 when he shoots Tommy Bucks, he's actually carrying a SIG, I believe it's a 226 is what he uses to gun down Tommy in Miami. Uh, then Raylan uh, carries a Colt, I want to say it's a Colt Commander Defender uh, with a stainless slide on it. Um, carried that one in the very first episode. When, so when Boyd gets shot at the table at Avis, uh, it's with a Colt uh, 45. Now throughout the series Raylan says that he carries uh, 45 but in reality it's a 9mm. So now we're going to move up to the holsters. The first holster that Raylan wore in Season 1, minus uh, the very first episode, the pilot episode, he wears this holster uh, throughout the first season. This is a Bianchi uh, Special Agent 59 holster. Uh, you can probably see it right there, Bianchi 59, Glock 17, or 22. A Glock 17, for those out there that are not firearms, uh, people, a Glock 17 is the 9mm and a Glock 22 is a 40 cal. Both the same pistol except for the different calibers. So you can use either a, uh, you can carry a 9mm or a 40 cal in this holster. And I'm thinking about moving up to a 40 cal just for a little bit more stopping power. Um, the holster is actually a really, really nice holster. It's in a more of a, what I call a vegetable tan um, leather and then it has a plastic paddle on it. This is a paddle holster. All of Raylan's uh, holsters were paddle holsters. And then it has, you can see these set screws there, and you can adjust this paddle to a forward cant, up and down. You can adjust the height of it. So really, actually a really nice holster. And then here comes the back side of the holster. So, and then I'll see if we can get down inside it, and that's what it looks like. Actually has a groove in there for the front sight. So, and this is what it looks like if you were looking at it straight on. Kind of come out here a little bit for you guys to see that. And then what I like about this holster, you can see right in there, see that like, that little tooth or, but it clips around your belt. So when you put this over your pants and you're wearing a belt, that little thing down at the bottom it kind of clips around your belt and it really just holds the holster in. Now you're probably asking why I'm mentioning this, okay? Well, we're going to go over to the second holster. Here's the second holster that Raylan wears. Now, from what I have been told about this holster from the maker, Graham Yost went into the holster shop and asked if they would make custom build him a holster similar to this one. Now I don't know if Justified had problems with Bianchi or what, but from season two till the end of season six, Raylan wears this holster. 
This holster is made by Alfonso's of Hollywood. They've been making holsters for all the old western cowboy shows for forever and a day. Really good company. Uh, I really like this holster. But there's some things I don't like about this holster. And I'm going to go over everything. Now I'm going to put this right back down so you guys can see the comparison here. This is pretty much the exact same holster as this holster. Except for this one has this added leather, this what I'm calling the wedge right here. This one is missing the wedge. So it comes around the trigger guard and it comes down. When you look at the back side of the holster, this one has an open. This one is closed. Okay. Other than that, besides the paddles, these are pretty much the exact same holster. This one you can see the stitching around it on the outside, where this one you cannot. Okay. Now, I call this one the Han Solo holster for all you Star Wars fans out there because this is in the same shape of Han Solo's holster. It's one of those crazy things that I know how it kind of rounds the, the, the trigger guard and stuff. Now, what I do not like about this holster is that the paddle is just a leather paddle. Now you'll probably see some blue in this paddle right there, stain. That's from my 501s that I've worn this with, and this the jean dye has kind of gotten into the leather. Probably from me sweating or something, you know. But this does not really, when you put this paddle holster on, it's, it's very, very comfortable, okay? The problem is, if you had to do a quick draw, and I practice my quick draw, so everybody knows I practice for about three, four times a week, 30 minutes a day on my quick draw. And I've had times when this thumb strap that comes over the Glock, the firearm, if it sometimes just sounds like this and you go to pull it up, it catches the firearm and it lifts the whole holster up out of the pants. And so when you pull your firearm, the pistol's still in it, can't get your finger in it. So basically, if you were in a life or death situation and you were drawing on somebody, uh, not a good situation that you would really want to be in. Now, if you are got a little time and you're talking to people like Raylan, you can unhook this and kind of throw it off to the side, and then you can get a good quick draw out of it. But if it's something that's just coming at you quick and you've got a pull, uh, I wouldn't recommend this holster. Uh, just too many times uh, it's, it's come out of my pants and stuff. This one here, I get a lightning fast, smooth as silk draw out of this. Uh, I will really, really like this holster. So, in my opinion, if I'm going in, if I'm a U.S. Marshal, a police officer, undercover agent, or what the person I am, just a civilian that carries, it's this holster. Uh, sorry, I don't want my life to depend on something that the firearm, the holster may come out with the firearm. Nice, I love this holster. I love the look of this holster better than this holster. But, and I wish, I even checked to see if I could t take this paddle and put it on over here, but it's, it's done differently, and I can't do that. I've actually thought about calling Alfonso's. I talked to him a lot on the phone when I got this holster here. Uh, to maybe see if I sent them this paddle here that they would incorporate it into this because then the holster would not come up because like I said that 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 little clip right in there you see that right there that's what's keeping it locked in and making it very secure so first season holster minus episode one is the Bianchi special agent 59 holster Second holster from season two all the way through season six, or from the rest out the series, is the Alfonso's uh, paddle holster. And if you call them, you can look them up online and just say you want the justified holster. They're going to know what you're talking about. They'll make this for any model. Uh, but like I said, Raylan carries a Glock 17. So if you're trying to match the show, um, that's what it is. So. And then, like I said, there's my Glock 17. So, really becoming a more of a fan of this pistol. Uh, I've got an HK45, a SIG 228, um, 
my 1911s and, and stuff, but I'm really kind of becoming a, more of a fan of the Glock. Didn't think I would, but the more I carry it, the more I like it. So I guess it's one of those things, I guess don't kind of judge a book by the cover and stuff. But I think the, the main reason I like this is just because it's so light. So anyway, uh, I hope that answers a lot of questions that I've been getting messaged on and emails on. Uh, both really very cool holsters. Just, um, like I said, if you're carrying every day, I would, I would go with this one. If you've just got to have something that matches the shows and you're using it for cosplay or whatever, then yeah, this one here. But this one, my money, my life would go to this one. That's just my opinion. You guys might find something different, but uh, I'm pretty thorough on my firearms and holsters and stuff. I own tons of holsters, ton of firearms, and um, I'm just telling you straight up that this one is the better of the two. Okay? So anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any more questions or like to see videos on wardrobe or anything else with Justify, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you guys out, okay? So talk to you later. Bye.